Hey, how's it going everyone? So my school, Embry-Riddle, has partnered with Atlas Air to bring a 747 to campus. So I'm actually able to go on this 747 and give you guys a tour, so tune in. So first things first, I walked into Aviation Maintenance Science Building and I signed in and got my credentials. Pretty much all that included was getting a lanyard and a wrist strap that allows me to actually enter the airport. So we waited for the bus to arrive to my campus, which took us directly to the Daytona Beach International Airport. And then we got off the bus and started walking towards the actual tarmac. And then, there it is. On my site, I see the Alice Air 747. Now this was a big plane. I didn't expect it to be actually this big, and it was beautiful. Everybody with me was pretty much taking as many videos as they could, because this is one of the few opportunities we're going to get, especially since the last 747 delivery was to Alice Air itself. Pretty much... The plane itself was awfully yellow in general, like you could tell it was an older model plane, but how it was explained to me is this is more of a private charter plane, so this is more used for rentals for like sports teams and general other stuff like maybe even business meetings. So now we are going to be moving on to the crew area, and these stairs are narrow. I am trying my best to not hit anything, and it's impossible for two people to go up and down at the same time like that. So when you get to the very top, you realize that the actual ceiling is so short, I am struggling to even keep my head down. And you can tell that the crew area itself, this is where the crew actually sleeps. It's pretty, uh, pretty small in general, but I would anticipate that the crew is not going to be there too long, aside from just taking a short amount of breaks, maybe for the pilots to sleep, because usually with the 747s, there's going to be a total of four pilots, and there that is me. So now you can really see how narrow these steps actually are. So I'm going down a ladder essentially first, and then you see the narrowness of each step. So you, theoretically, you could trip over it if you were on the very edge of it, but I tried my best to stay on the outer rim. Aside from the lighting itself, you could also tell it was an older plane just because of the smell. It had a very pungent smell of just leather seats. It's like that smell that you have in a hot car during the summer where the leather is just burning, I guess. So pretty much now I'm on the second deck, and you could go ahead and see the first class sitting at the top, or business class, I don't know which one it is. And then we are now in the cockpit, and the cockpit is very clean, all the switches are perfectly labeled, no real signs of like wear and tear, everything is nice. So what the Atlas Air crew pretty much did tell me was that we were able to get the 747 at my school because that there wasn't anybody specifically renting it or any of that. So you can really tell how much of a clear view pilots actually have what's in front of them and what's to the side of them. It's absolutely stunning. So now what's going on is I'm going to be walking towards the back of the second deck into the crew preparation area for the food. And you can see me pointing out a coffee pod just cause. And right there, it looks like an elevator for like the crew to actually send the food up and down. But I'm sure that there is a kitchen like under that area. So that's probably where the food's going. And now we are pretty much going towards the front of the aircraft, so we are going to see more business and first class seats essentially. And there we are, and that's another food preparation area. So we got to the front of the plane, and we're just exploring, looking around, and we were invited by the crew to actually sit down and just test out the seats. So that's when I, well, I went ahead and did test out the seats. There was actually a lot of staff on board. They were all friendly and polite, but I'm not sure if it's like the normal staff of the plane and they just brought more staff just to show the university kids around, but that's probably what happened. And here's more of the kitchen area just to show you guys. And now I'm going to be showing you guys the bathroom as well, because why wouldn't this be a full tour without the bathroom? And there it is. But yeah, normal airplane bathroom, I'd say. Nothing too special, no shower, none of that. After I was done with the full tour of the plane, I just went around and just messed around with the seats. I was in the business class section and I just went ahead and went to go recline the seat. And overall, it was a very comfortable seat. It wasn't like anything I've experienced before because I normally fly coach. But it was a nice experience overall. So I went ahead and sat there for about 5 minutes, put the seat back up. And you could tell by my surprise that they had a similar thing to the 777 like, interface on like Emirates, where it's just a remote that you pull out. And I was even more surprised on the ethernet port you can see in the gray on the bottom left. There was the ethernet port, and then there was even more outlets in the back right corner that you could barely tell, but I'm recording on a GoPro, so it wasn't the best. 
So they pretty much let us out of the plane on the other side, not the same side that we came in, and the cargo hatch door was open to my surprise, and I approached the cargo hatch just to check it out, and it was pretty cool just to look inside of it. And I just went around and went under the plane, it was very loud, so I sometimes had to close my ears and just checked out the landing gear. And these tires were big, far bigger than I anticipated. So after I found my friend Yoshi was working here, said hi to him, he works for the flight line, and that's the 747 from the very front, nose is very big, and this is the conclusion to our tour. Thanks for watching guys, if you like more videos, please subscribe.